Hey y'all, welcome back to Barn Shenanigans, part two of the series on the 1934 Plymouth. Today we're going to be doing uh, a couple different things. Last night we, uh, we got the water pump off of it. Thank goodness we didn't have to actually remove the entire radiator off of it. Uh, my buddy Colin, he put the new fuel pump on there and then I removed the uh, old brake master cylinder and tore it apart. It was, it's trashed. So thankfully, I was able to order a new one, and I believe the box actually showed up today. So this evening's objective is going to be getting this car out. We're going to take it up um, next to the house where I have a water hose. I'm going to try to flush out some of that cooling system in there. And hopefully we can put the new water pump on. I, I think that's supposed to be in tomorrow. I really hope it is because I really, really want to take this car to the show. Uh, but we'll see. We'll take it one step at a time. So. We'll check to see if the new master cylinder came in, and then if it did, we're going to put it on tonight. But first, let's get this car out, and let's go flush this block out. Colin is not here this evening, so it's just me. So we're going to have to try to figure out how to get this car uh, from here all the way to the front of the house. Um, I think we're going to try to use my tractor and slowly push it up there. <laughs> Okay, so here's the plan. I'm going to swing the tractor around to the front of the car. We're going to chain it up to the front of the car and very slowly drag the car up to the front of the house. That was fun. So now we're going to put some water in this thing and try to flush out the, uh, the block. We're going to try to flush out that uh, this radiator a little bit too. And yes, that is, uh, that's my 1940 Buick back there. Hopefully one day I'll do something with it. I mean, feel free to comment below what I should do with that. Uh, should we lower it down, put some red steelies on it? I potentially have a uh, lifted uh, blazer frame that I can stick that on top of, make it a four-wheel drive swamp buggy or something. All kinds of ideas. Man, uh, the hose is not long enough. Story of my life. Well, I moved the car a little closer to the hose so we can uh, start flushing this thing now. All right, let's see how much of a mess we can make here. Well, that's pretty that's pretty nasty. We want to keep going until that liquid is at least kind of clear. That's still really rusty water coming out of there. She she's a little dirty. Okay, so I've still been at this thing for about 15 20 minutes I've been going back and forth back and forth I put some soap inside there and then uh, we're gonna apply some pressure to it and see if we can get any more trash out of it that's really what you want to see is just clear water coming out of it but I don't have a whole lot of pressure on it so let's put some pressure on it and cap that end off watch that hose as she fills up let's see if it's still dirty or not It's looking better. Okay, now that I have successfully pumped out my entire well water system, let's uh, take this thing back to the shop and we're gonna start working on the brakes. back inside let's start working on the brakes now um, it's getting laid out you can't tell 
So I'm probably not gonna get them all the way done tonight. I'd like to get at least the fittings and other miscellaneous pieces off the old one onto the new master cylinder. And it'd be really cool if we can get this onto the car tonight. I doubt that I'm gonna actually bleed them. It'll be helpful to have somebody else with me. That way they can be inside, push the pedal while I'm out here actually bleeding the brakes. But we'll see how far along we get. So uh, sneak peek here. It looks like the master cylinder did come in. Hopefully it's the correct one. <clears throat> I guess we'll see. Oh, look at that. I'd say that looks like it'll fit. Alright, so we're going to transfer some parts from the old master cylinder onto the new master cylinder now. I've already taken the liberty and removed a lot of them because they were pretty tight. Uh, we got the T-fitting that goes on the bottom of here. We've got, a, uh, we've got a plug that goes on the end of here. And then we got this guy right here. This is actually your brake switch. Check this out. So modern vehicles, they have a brake switch at the pedal itself. Well, a lot of these older cars, they would have a pressure switch so basically when you stepped on the brake pedal the brake line pressure would increase and that tripped the switch which then in turn eliminated the single brake light that was on the Plymouth by the way fun fact so Plymouth was actually introduced in 1928 and the, uh, if you're wondering why they chose the name Plymouth it's not actually because of this ship that's on here this is the Mayflower which obviously is in Plymouth, Massachusetts. The car was actually named after a uh, very, very popular company in Plymouth, Massachusetts at the time, and it was called uh, Plymouth Cordage Company, and it was very well known amongst farmers because the farmers used uh, the twine, and it was actually binding twine. It was called uh, Plymouth, binding, uh, Plymouth Binding Twine, and that, that company also made big rope for ships and boats and whatnot, but anyways, the guy Joe Fraser, I believe was his name, he's the one who came up with the name Plymouth. At the time they were competing with Ford and Chevrolet, so he wanted to choose a name that was uh, very familiar to the American people, and especially to the farmers. Uh, Joe himself was a farmer, and so he wanted to stick with a very well, very well known name brand. So he chose Plymouth, and then they used uh, Mayflower as the logo. There's your fun fact for today. All right, let's get this stuff transferred. Would you look at that, she's installed. I think we made pretty good headway today. It would be really cool if we can get the brakes blood tomorrow. It would be even better if the uh, parts for the cooling system all came in tomorrow. You could button all that up, that'd be great. But that wraps that up for today. Are you ready to go inside? Alright. Well thanks for hanging out with me guys. Um, stick around for part 3. As we will continue on this Plymouth. Oh, I'm going inside. Don't just count the days, make the days count. You guys have a good night. Come on, girl. Where are you? Oh, there she is. <laughs> See you later.